You see showers for the remainder of the night tonight and maybe a couple rumbles of thunder, but thankfully not anticipating anything severe. There you see there in the full screen view, top right corner of your screen, rain blanketing Bryant any stadium as we speak, but it hasn't quite made it yet to the rest of our towns. Birmingham looking pretty cloudy, same with Gadsden as well as Anison, all of us sitting in the 60s as of right now. Here's a look at the radar view. Basically, the western half of the area is the only uh, half that's seeing the rain as of right now. Heavy downpours, though, in progress towards Tuscaloosa County, Pickens County. You see a lot of the really heavy rain showing up across Green and Hale counties. Just five lightning strikes in the past 15 minutes. So a couple of rumbles of thunder, but again, nothing severe expected with this batch of rain because our dew points aren't quite high enough. So that'll be the case the rest of the night tonight. By 8 p.m., you can see those showers moving through the northern parts of the Birmingham metro and into our eastern counties. Still seeing some lingering showers through around midnight tonight. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, that's when we start to dry out. By around uh, 6 o'clock early in the morning, most of us waking up to those lower 50s. Clouds over the southern half of the viewing area, and our forecast model has most of those clouds clearing out by the afternoon. I'm not quite sold on that just yet. I think most of the area will stay at least partly cloudy for most of the afternoon. Again, by the Iron Bowl, looking pretty good. Temperatures there in the mid 60s with no rain in the forecast, but that changes going into Sunday. Basically, a washout all day Sunday with the stronger system that'll be passing through. And this system will be uh, giving us those widespread showers most of the day Sunday, but the bigger story is the colder air coming in back behind that. That arrives Monday. Highs Monday will struggle to get into the mid and upper. 40s. That'll be the warmest we'll be all day. And then Tuesday, that'll be our first hard freeze of the season as temperatures get down to the mid 20s. So prepare accordingly. Make sure your pipes are adequately protected. Not a bad idea to go ahead and do that before those temperatures arrive. So again, for the rest of the night tonight, light rain, otherwise overcast skies getting down to the low 50s tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to call it partly cloudy and cool and dry. Those highs in the mid 60s. Your seven day forecast, that cold air sticks around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And we rebound a little bit. Temperatures get above freezing Thursday and Friday.